What's up everybody, Cryptic here, and today I got a really special video for you guys. Just as you guys read in the title, yes, it is true. You can set up actual police chases and callouts in GTA 5 on console through some very, very simple steps. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. And this can be used for a lot of different things, like it could just be to have fun, or maybe you wanna make videos on it. Whatever the case may be, I'm about to show you guys exactly how to do it. Before we go any further, I wanna ask you guys something simple. If you're going to enjoy this video and it does help you out, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and that's pretty much it. Let's get right into the video. First things first, we are gonna be wanting to start this off in story mode. So once you are in story mode, hit your pause button, go over to online, go down to Rockstar Creator. You're gonna wanna load this up. Might take a second or two. Oh, to be clear, this can be done with friends. So yeah, pretty awesome. Alrighty, so the, what you're gonna wanna go and do first is go to capture, start up a GTA. And then what you're gonna wanna do is put in some details here, like for instance, you know, something creative, I guess. Find yourselves a description. I'm just gonna put test for now. Photo can be pretty much anything, but what I'd like to do personally is head over to the Vespucci police station because there's a mural on the wall that has police on it, or there's also like this one here, and there's also this right here. So if you guys wanted to, you could just do this. Increase the FOV down to there. Maybe actually, let's just do this. So if you wanna get like the, the yeah, where it says like now hiring, there we go. And you get that when you see it on the, uh, pretty cool actually. Then you're gonna wanna set up a time limit. Now this can actually stay up to uh, five minutes because this time, once you load this up, will actually be indefinite. So you're good on that regard. Team details, um, from what I'm aware, the target score, just set it to one point. Make sure your one level is set to default, meaning you will not get one. And you're gonna wanna, if you want, if you already have your own police kind of loadout, kind of going, then you can totally just do owned and it'll give you your actual loadout. Totally up to you. Personally, I'm going to force a taser if I can find it. There it is. And then for ambient settings, if you leave this at current and you leave the weather at current, it will change. If you leave it at something set, it will, it will not change. So the time of day will change, but it'll always be bright. Or if you want to go time of day morning and leave it at current, it'll always change the weather, but not the time of day. So just letting you guys know that is how that works. You can also state the available weathers that could appear. You can set the traffic and pedestrian density. We're gonna go medium to, actually we're just gonna go high. Ambient animals, emergency services will be on. Gangs can be on maximum wanted level. We're gonna leave this at off since you guys are gonna be doing some police related role play. Obviously we're gonna leave that to off. And then you're gonna go to placement, get a trigger placed down. Now I'm personally gonna put this over here at a lobby camera. I'm thinking that could be right about here. Looking pretty good, pretty cinematic. You ask me now another thing you're gonna want is a team start point so what i'm gonna do is add one over at the start of these doors like right here and another one i'd say actually add two like one here and here and we'll actually just put two of them over here like this now if you do want to have friends join and do it for any other reason you could always just set their spawn points somewhere else on the map if you want like over here for instance totally up to you all right now you can go to your team capture points and what you're going to want to do is set up something i'd say probably here at base and then if you want to make the enemy one over where they will spawn that is totally fine as well i'd preferably put it maybe at this parking garage area and then we're going to set up a capture vehicle so what we're going to do with this now this is really important this is wherever you guys want to have your chase start but for the premise of this video we're going to do it right around the outside i guess this road here this is where it'll start so for starters let's say we want to chase down an suv like maybe a dorado for example to make it uh, like a gray dorado or silver then we're gonna go to the actors and you guys are gonna want to choose preferably i'd say maybe like a like a lost mc member maybe give them a pistol or actually so this specific guy we're gonna give we're gonna make this guy have Let's just give him a set of knuckle dusters here. We're gonna make this guy a defensive type who will be hostile to both teams. And if you're now, this part's really important as well. You're gonna wanna take this guy, place him on the car. Now what you'll have noticed going to game here is he is now driving this car and should hopefully flee. So one thing I realized just now, we need to delete this and delete this actor. Okay, so we're gonna have to go back place this down go to the actor you actually want to set a patrol range so if you go i believe it's the max there we go set to wander okay so it should be the same 
So we're going to go no respawns, put him in there, and we're going to make this a little bit interesting. We're going to give him some guys that have actual guns to worry about. That would be kind of cool in my opinion. So we're going to fill up this whole vehicle with them. And then we're going to give ourselves a police car. This can be whatever you guys want. We're just going to make it this. We're going to set this up just over here like so. And let's give this a quick little test and see how this goes. So these guys are now in their car. Make sure you have your uh, radar turned on, by the way. I don't have mine turned on. All right, there we go. And you'll see the car. They're going to wait, obviously, you know, wait at red lights, do their thing. We're going to head over to our cruiser here. By the way, this outfit that randomized is not something that you guys will get. Don't worry if it happens to you. All good. So now we have our gun. For some reason, we have grenades, which I think is due to uh, having an owned player loadout. So today we need these guys to pull over, right? We're going to see if they decide to. Now, personally, I don't think these guys have any intentions of pulling over. So we're going to go in for a bit of a pit maneuver here. And that they did not like very much at all. This is not good. So yeah, we're going to have to chase these guys down now. We have to watch out for other traffic though. Because, uh, you know. Okay, we might have to shoot some tires out here. Now, if you have friends doing this with you, you got backup. You can get some like air units on this or whatever. Be as creative as you guys want. Try to pop all their tires. I think the next next kind of objective here would be taking out the uh, driver, if I'm being totally honest. Now, you could make their vehicle that they're getting away in, like, for example, um, it could be like a Lamborghini, and maybe you want to do like a bank heist, where people that you're trying to get are escaping, like, pack standard or something. You could set them up just outside of there as well, um, which is pretty cool, so, you know, there's a lot you can do with this. I'm trying to catch up now, at this point. I didn't get myself a very fast police car, if I'm being completely honest. You could do highway patrol stuff up in Blaine County. Like, it's pretty endless for what you actually can do. Although, we're going to have to kill these guys. Hopefully, the driver's our first victim. Looks like we're hitting the driver and some of the other occupants. I'm pretty far, though. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, they actually shot one of our tires out. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. They're actually kind of eliminating us at the moment. But their car is not doing very good. I got to get that tire out. There we go. Oh, yeah. Their car is not going to be going too far anymore. I gotta take that driver out. Oh, we're actually throwing a grenade accidentally. You know, maybe that you want to do it like this. So normally you probably wouldn't throw a grenade at them. Uh, but yeah, I think you guys get the gist of it. It's it's pretty cool. Um, now see the text at the bottom that says capture the vehicle. When you guys exit out of this, this really quick. Just gotta go into your settings. I believe it's your settings. I think it's in here. Uh, objective text. Yes. Yeah, so instead of saying capture the vehicle, you guys could make it some police jabber something something like that. You can make it your call sign. Maybe your call sign. You could go one alpha dash. I don't know. One for example. And you just do that. Now, when you load up into the capture, you're going to see something pretty cool. It's going to say one alpha one on your screen. You could change this to whatever you want. You could make it like body cam text or something like that. Like Axon with a colon and then like a date and like recording and whatever. Maybe you want to do that. Some little body cam overlay type stuff. It's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. You guys can do a lot with this. If you guys end up making any really cool callouts or pursuits, send them in my Discord. I do have a Discord. There's a link in the description. 17,000 members. It is a roleplay server for console, but if you guys want to do that, definitely. I'd love to see your guys' stuff. So, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas or stuff around this you guys think I could be able to do most likely. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Hope you all have an awesome day. See y'all later. Peace out.